Cultural variations in attachment, including the work of Van Isendorn in Kruenberg. So you need to be aware of that piece of key research. So we're going to look at the main difference between individualistic and collectivist cultures. So individu individualistic cultures are typically Western cultures. They emphasize the importance on the individual person. Uh, they're highly competitive, um, goal orientated um, society, whereas collectivist tends to emphasize the importance of um, family group goals, um, working together within a group. So Van Isendorn and Kronenberg's key study, meta-analysis from 1988. So they wanted to compare the results of research that had been conducted using the strange situation developed by Ainsworth in different cultures. So they used a meta-analysis of 32 studies into attachment where the strange situation had been used as the procedure for measuring attachment type and it was conducted in eight different countries. 15 studies were in the US and overall um, studies had results from 1,990, so approximately 2,000 children and their mothers. Um, they found that secure attachment was still the most common classification across all countries. Um, so quite similar to the original study of the strange situation in America, but it ranged from 50% in China to 75% in Britain. In individualistic cultures, rates of insecure resistant attachments were similar to Ainsworth's original sample, so all under 14%, but this was not true for collectivist cultures. Collectivist cultures like China, Japan and Israel uh, had rates that were above um, 25% and rates of insecure avoidance were also reduced. So it does appear that there is a difference in terms of collectivist and individualistic cultures in terms of um, attachment type for the insecure attachment. Uh, so this suggests the conclusions were that the cultural differences and distributions of insecure attachment, um, that there are cultural differences. Um, they concluded that there was difference between countries and cultures were also very large. So there's more variation within cultures than necessarily between cultures. So you might get a question that's outlined one or more studies that have investigated cultural variations and attachments. So for six marks, that's a simple just outline the aims, procedures, findings and conclusions. But you might get outlined what research has shown about cultural variation. So that shown is the findings and conclusions. So don't bother telling me anything about the aims or procedures straight into what the findings and conclusions have shown. Similarly, you might get a question that is outline um, how research into cultural variations in attachment has been done. So that would be just asking about the procedure, not about the findings and conclusions. So a strength of this research is it was a meta-analysis of 32 studies and involved eight different countries and there was a sample size of approximately 2,000 children and their mothers. So it's a large sample size and increases the internal validity by reducing any bias in the methodology. However, the strain situation was designed by Ainsworth, who was an American researcher and based on Bowlby's, a British theory. So therefore it has imposed ethic. It's imposing the ethic, the values of Western society, what they view as a secure attachment, insecure avoidant and insecure resistant attachment onto other cultures. And it doesn't take into account different, account, different cultural differences in attachment types and the way that they might raise um, their children and how what they would class as a um, secure, healthy attachment. So in um, Germany, for example, they are uh, quite into raising their children to be quite independent. So therefore, it might explain why they had a higher rate of um, insecure attachment. And for example, in, in collectivist cultures, they are tried to be raised uh, as a group norm. So they might not be um, used to separation as much as um, Western society. 
Although the meta-analysis was a large sample, only five out of the 32 studies were in non-Western cultures. Therefore, it's unsafe to generalise the findings to all collectivist cultures. And in particular, there was no data from Africa, South America. So studies are certainly not representative of all collectivist cultures. Also, it makes comparisons between countries, not cultures. So it's found that um, even within Japan, there's a wide range of um, attachment types. So in urban Tokyo, they had sim similar proportions to Western studies, but the rural samples were more likely to be insecure resistant. So um, comparisons between countries have little meaning. So are we actually measuring um, countries or are we measuring culture? It's hard to, to know. So you might get a 16 marker along these lines, outline and evaluate research into cultural variations in attachment. So it'd be really important to outline and give detail on your aims, procedures, findings and conclusions in as much detail as you can remember. Try to get some key facts in there, data and what um, clearly what the conclusions are. Then three to four peel paragraphs on the strengths and weaknesses of um, the meta-analysis into cross-cultural variations of attachment.